So, welcome to Chibat and Arts. This is the third sequence on the Li family style Tai Chi Chuan. So, in the first two little videos, we did gather celestial energy and play the guitar, which finished in this position. So now, the next movement from here is similar to one of the movements in the first part we did, where we reach up as if going around someone's arms. It differs, however, in this time, as our hands come up, they face each other. And then, as we draw our hands across and slightly lengthen the arms, I incline my body. And it's that which pulls the leg in. Palms turn towards the body, the elbows relax, and I extend, pushing with the wrists. Then, as I sink back, turn my palms inwards, rotate around the little finger, forwards into dragon, relax, draw back again. And that's the end of the sequence. And this sequence is called Fair Lady Weaving. And it's the idea that you're pushing shuttles backwards and forwards. So let's just quickly go through that again, then go through it the other, other side and then I will give you some more explanation about what's going on. So we've done the turn, we've finished in this position, which is the end of play the guitar. We reach upwards, body becomes upright, draw across, raise the toes, the palms turn inwards, relax the elbows, push with the wrists, draw back, palms turn in, rotate the palms, extend in a pushing action, and then draw back. So on the other side, left arm, left leg, the arms would reach up, face each other, they would draw across towards the left leg, palms turn inwards, elbows slightly out, relax the elbows, push with the wrists, draw back, expand and step, release and draw back. So that completes the sequence. So if I can just borrow a robber moment. So from here, so we've assumed we're doing the same movement as before and you've pushed somebody now, my arms are facing each other from this movement. So we push forwards, my arms reach up. Now, because my arms are open, it's possible for Rob to headbutt me. Okay, <laughs> you enjoy doing that one. <laughs> right, so as I make the next movement, I draw my hands across and see what that does to Rob. It disturbs his balance so that my hands are either side of my knee. So as I draw my hands across and then slightly expand the arms but incline the body from here and this is the action. So as I do that, hands across and that position. And this is going to knock his arms off from that position. So slightly different movement. And this is different from the first time, which I'm like here, stops him headbutting me because one hand's in front of the other, and I sit back on my back leg in this position, so my body's more upright. Second time we do it, hands across as I do that movement. Now as he falls, I turn my palms in, and I step to hit with the back of my wrists. So this next movement is down, strike with the back of the wrists, as he reaches forward to grab, look, my arms are up to protect myself, I draw back, pause him off balance, I turn, and then I push from that position. <clears throat> now, when we're doing the pushing action, it's not with the arms. Are you right for this, Rob? Yeah. Okay. So, if Rob turns around that way, gets in a decent stance, get a decent stance, Rob, and I'm just here and I try and push with my arms, I can do a little bit pushing my arms, it's not very strong. So my arms hardly move at all. It's that explosion with the body that, you know, removes the opponent. So it's a very small movement, an explosion from the body, a farging. Okay, we're happy with that? So let's recap. We turn from this position around the arm. The arms draw across as I incline the body. Turn the palms in as I raise the toe. Drive with the backs of my hands, hopefully onto the collarbones. Protect myself as I come back. 
This is important because I've seen some people who drop their arms here at this point. I'm not a fan of that. I'm a fan of keeping this up to protect your face and then you push. Because against someone like Rob who's very strong, if I'm in this position, I rotate around the thumb. I can't rotate anymore around the thumb because I've got his strong arms in that position. So what I would do from here is rotate around the little finger and then I'm coming inside of the pressure. Does that make sense? Okay, right. Some other things about the movements um, before we do it the other side from here. The first movement, we're gathering energy to the belly, we're gathering energy from the heavens, gathering energy from the earth, bringing that energy into the center, and then as we come forward into this movement, working from the belly, drawing back here to the belly, turning from here, look again, to the belly, now look, down, turn in, chest, draw back, chest, forwards, chest, back, chest. So Fair Lady Weaving is working from a different centre than Play the Guitar. Play the Guitar is working from the lower dandian, this is working from the middle dandian. Okay, let's do the, the same, I'm going to go through it now to the right and the left so that we can practice it both ways. So we do it a few times, and then once you've taken in the teaching points, then you can just fast forward this and just keep going over that bit. Right, off we go, nice and relaxed. So let's assume, no we won't, we'll go from the beginning. Relax, step to the left, just your right foot, thumbs forwards, circle round, draw your left leg in, arms lengthen, they float up, look between your hands, elbows sink, arms sink, reach over the rice bowl, scoop underneath, right hand over, left, expand, reach up around the arms, squeeze in slightly, turn, palms turn inwards, and into dragon again. Palms face each other, they draw across either side of the right leg, palms down, push with your wrists, Draw back, push with your palms, draw back, and relax. Let's do the same thing to the side, step to the right, adjust my left foot, thumbs forwards, circle around the thumbs, draw the right foot in, arms sink, they float forwards, chin drift forwards, relax my elbows and I reach over the rice bowl, scoop underneath, left hand over right elbow, sink my arms, expand, I step into dragon, reach up, squeeze slightly as I pull in, turn to the left, turn the palms in, relax the elbows, expand into dragon, reach up, draw a cross as I incline the body, Turn the palms in, relax the elbows as I strike with the wrists, draw back, turn the palms in, rotate around the little finger, express with the palms, release and draw back and relax. The sequence we've just learned, it's just occurred to me I haven't given you the breathing, have I? Which I have with the other two sections. So the breathing, I'll do it with my back too so we can practice it. So this is an out breath from here at the end of the previous sequence this movement is an in breath this is an out breath this is an in breath this is an out breath this is an in breath okay let's do it the same side the other side so we can practice it both ways so we've here this is the out breath from the last movement, play the guitar. This is the in breath. This is the out breath. This is the in breath. This is the out breath. This is the in breath. And relax. Is there anything I've forgotten that's majorly important? Right. Hope you enjoy that. See you next time.